In this video, we show you how to transfer your data from an old iPhone model to a newer iPhone model. This process should work for every iPhone model. But if you're looking to upgrade your old phone or you just got a newer iPhone model like the iPhone 16, this process works for all iPhone models. So we'll start with your new phone. If it already starts at the hello page, which I'll show you later once I get there, then you need to do this first step, which is factory reset in the phone. So you go to the settings app, scroll all the way down to general, all the way down, you should see transfer and reset iPhone, hit that. And you want to go to erase all contents and settings. Somewhere around here, you might be asked to put in a passcode or an Apple ID information. If you see that prompt, just put in the information and you should be able to erase your phone. But since this phone is not passcode locked or linked to any Apple ID, I can go straight ahead to continue and erase iPhone and now the phone is erasing. Also, if you're trying to get rid of a phone, sell it or give it to a friend, this is the process you need to do to make sure everything on your phone is deleted before you give it out to the next user. So now we're just waiting for it to reset. The bar is almost full. It's just gonna take a couple minutes. Here's the hello page I talked about earlier. Most new iPhones start from this hello page. If you're starting from this hello page, then you can skip the previous step we did. And like I said, if you're trying to get rid of your old phone, give it to a friend or sell it. This is what you need to do to get your phone factory reset so all your information is out of the phone. So now we'll continue with the transfer process. Just slide in, choose language, country and appearance. Hit continue, set up with another device. I'll hit that. Here's gonna ask you to connect your phone to a Wi-Fi connection. It's gonna need both phones to be connected to Wi-Fi. The older phone has to be connected to Wi-Fi and the newer phone we need to connect it to Wi-Fi. Now mine is connected. This might take a few minutes to activate your phone. We'll just wait. Now just hit continue on this page. This phone software is already on iOS 18. That's why we see a page like this that looks different from older iPhone iOS softwares. Age range, I'm an adult, so I'll pick adult. Face ID, we can set up later. Passcode options, we'll go options. Don't use passcode, we'll save everything later. It's gonna transfer all your information. Your old passcode is gonna transfer to this once the process is done. We'll say don't use passcode. This is a transfer page you wanna be at on your new phone. So you can see transfer your apps and data is gonna transfer everything from this phone to this new phone. There are different methods to do this transfer. You can transfer from iCloud backup as if you backed up your iCloud on your older phone. You can transfer that right away to your new phone from another iPhone, from a PC or Mac, or from Android. Obviously, we wanna transfer from another iPhone. So we're gonna pick from another iPhone. And I just go quick setup. I think it's trying to find this old iPhone. Okay, it came up. Now I hit continue. Now it's connecting. Okay, so now this thing right here, we need to place the older phone over the new phone. Just the camera, that way it captures this. The process is really easy as you can see. So we're just gonna wait. It says continue on your old iPhone and keep this iPhone near your other iPhone while setting up. So make sure both phones are close together. So I'm going to go to my old iPhone and choose setup for me. And now the new iPhone needs me to put in my passcode. I'm going to type in my passcode. So we'll just wait. Okay, set up face ID. We can do that later. Transfer data from iPhone. Hit continue. Okay, terms and conditions. You can read all this, but I don't need to read it. I'll just agree. You know, we can see it signing in. If you get an error message somewhere around this step, it might need you to upgrade your software to the newer iPhone software. So make sure you upgrade it to the latest iPhone software. And now it says, make this your new iPhone. I'll hit continue. Update your iPhone automatically. I don't like that. I like to turn it off, but I'll just continue for now. Location service, I'll do this later. These are steps you can always do later once everything's transferred. Okay, now it's starting to transfer. It's trying to estimate the time. So let's see. We're just going to wait. So before you can see how easy it is, Apple has made this really easy to transfer. That way people can transfer from their older phones to newer models. You can do this yourself. If you go to an Apple store, this is basically what they will do for you. It all depends on how much information you have on your older phone. The more stuff you need to transfer from your older phone, it's going to make it take longer to transfer to the newer phone. Also, one thing to note, if your old iPhone storage is full, it has way more storage space compared to your new iPhone. For example, if your older iPhone has a storage capacity of 128 gigabytes and it's full, you need your new iPhone to have at least 128 gigabytes as well to make this transfer work. If your new iPhone storage capacity is less than the older iPhone storage capacity, this transfer won't work, obviously, because there's a lot of information in here that can go in the new iPhone because the storage capacity on the new iPhone is less than the older iPhone. Hopefully, 
you guys get that. So make sure your newer iPhone has the same or more storage capacity than your older iPhone. So now we're just gonna wait about 13 minutes. I'll come back. Okay, now it says the transfer process is complete. The newer phone is just starting up, so we'll just wait for it. Mine transferred pretty quick because I don't have a lot of data on the old phone. So if your takes a while, be patient and just wait for it. It's gonna transfer. Also remember, if you have any questions during this process, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, now this phone has come on. We'll just say continue on the old phone. So as you can see, if you're trying to get rid of your old phone, you can erase this phone, hit continue, and just follow the steps. I'm not gonna erase mine yet. I'll get to my new phone just to see if everything has been transferred. So now the new iPhone has everything from the old iPhone. Is everyone asking me to put in my old passcode? So I'll just put it in. And now I'm in the phone. It says restore completed. Hit continue. Face ID. You can go ahead and set up face ID now if you want to. I'll set it up later. Set up seller. I'll do that later. So I'll just keep doing everything later. I don't need to do it now. I will pay. I hit later. Now it says welcome to iPhone. I'll just swipe up. Now as you can see everything on my old iPhone is on the new iPhone. I'll show you real quick. But this one I'll just hit not now because I don't want to erase it. So as you can see all the apps on my old iPhone and now on my new iPhone. I'll just swipe right and see it's pretty much the same. So everything on the new iPhone is saying waiting because it's installing all the apps on the phone. This process is going to take a while too so you just have to wait. For example, you can see my Water Llama app right there. All the apps, everything has been transferred. All your text messages and your contacts should be on your new phone now. Now you just have to wait for all the apps to download and update and you should be set. So remember this process will transfer everything from your old phone to your new phone. Even your contacts, messages, pictures, music, videos, whatever you have on the old phone is definitely going to be on your new phone. For apps that need login information, you just have to go in your app and put in your login information Then you should be good to go. This is a really easy process in my opinion. All thanks to Apple. If you'd like to see more videos like this, check the video on the right. And for more tips and tricks, check the playlist on the left. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.